Hey everybody, happy Monday, September 12th. Hope you're doing good. Hope you're having a marvelous Monday. I'm doing really good. It's kind of a wonderful fall day. My husband would say, it's a beautiful fall day today. <laughs> um, we're, it's going to get hot again, but right now we're enjoying some really nice um, cooler temperatures. Um, I ate my lunch out on the patio. So that's always fun. If you're here, say hello. I'd love to chat with you. We're going to make a 3D project today. Um, I had a lot of fun creating it. Um, and I'm excited to share it with you. I hope you enjoy it. Um, any announcements? Let me turn. Hi, Carol. How are you? I'm going to turn this around. Don't forget weekly deals during the month of September. We're about halfway through September, so um, another set of weekly deals will go live tomorrow. Um, and you can always see them at, <laughs> try and point, leslie.stampinup.net. Um, if, you, if you go there, click on the Shop Now button, there will be a link for weekly deals, and you'll be able to see everything. Um, they don't let us know ahead of time what's going to be added, um, but it's been kind of fun this month. I, I really hope they continue it. I don't know if they will or not, but that is going on right now. Also, the Perfect Partners, just the month of September, there are some dies that coordinate with stamp sets from the annual and the Christmas catalog that are available this month only. Um, so I've got to hurry up and get my order in. I really want this playful piggy. <laughs> but there's some really cute ones. I like the Apple Blossom um, bundle. The, uh, they're calling it the Apple Harvest bundle. That's really pretty. The Fresh Cut Flowers bundle is really pretty. You can also see these at leslie.stampinup.net. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, I got a little frog in my throat. Um, when you go to shop now, there'll be a link also for um, Perfect Partners. So that's really fun that they're doing that. They're keeping things exciting for us. Hi, Vicki. If you weren't with me last Wednesday, we did some water coloring and here's the cards. I kind of like this one better. I used a little bit too much water on this one, but I still think it's pretty. Um, but you can go back up to my videos on the Facebook page or on my YouTube channel and you can find how I um, did this kind of faux watercolor look with our um, water painters. So that's what we did Wednesday. Thank you Vicki. And today we're going to make something with the Bewitching stamp set. I was at Dollar Tree. When I'm in a new area I try and hit like if I have a little extra time and I was at the orthodontist last week and um, I'm looking for a label but I guess it doesn't matter uh, they had I was early so there was a Dollar Tree and I ran in oh here's the label and they had these little mini um, pumpkin buckets little cauldrons they're really not pumpkins they're cauldrons there's like little flames on there it, you get a set of four for um, $1.25. So I thought that was a good deal. And I have four grandchildren that could eat some candy that I can stuff in these. So I thought I'm, I just grab them and then I'm going to decorate them up. And here is what I came up with. This is the little cauldron and I put some fluffy in it and the little witch's hat from our bewitching stamp set and I have her, she fell in her little um, cauldron <laughs> and her feet are sticking out and I'm going to show you how I did that and there's still room for the little candies in there. Um, here are some cards that I've made using the bewitching set. Here's one that I added a little um, black tool to. Um, I just had a, it's ribbon, it was tool ribbon, and I just added, kind of gathered that up and made it look like um, her little skirt. And then here's one that's just some layers using the dies from the, um, I think they're called the contour dies. And then here's one that I used making um, 
using circle, the stitch circles. And it looks like a pumpkin, the hat sitting on top of the pumpkin. So those are three cards that I made using this set. And then today we're going to make our little 3D treat holder. So uh, we already have our cauldron. <laughs> um, also, if you don't have these at your Dollar Tree, I think you can find them on Amazon. I'll see if there's a link and I can put it in the description, but um, our Dollar Tree had them, so I grabbed them. Um, stuff like this, you know, goes fast, so if you have something around, um, you know, get out there and grab it before they're gone. So I'm going to use the witch's hat and her feet and the little spider and memento ink. This is the tuxedo black ink. We're going to do a little coloring. I hope I'm probably shaking my camera. My my ink pad probably needs re-inked. I'm gonna put this little her little feet over here because we're gonna fussy cut those out. And then the little spider we're gonna fussy cut out. So I will put that right here. Okay, her hat I just used, I'm going to be using our um, Stampin' Blend alcohol markers. And for her hat, I'm just going to be using the pumpkin pie to color that in. I'm going to leave the hat band uh, blank because we're going to use the punch and add a hat band later. If you could find some little pumpkins, if you can't find the cauldrons, this would also be cute on a little plastic pumpkin treat holder as well. Um, I know I've seen those types of things um, at all different um, stores. Now's the time to grab them. Hi, Kat. Kat just ordered the fresh flower stamps and dies. Yeah, that's awesome. That's a real pretty bundle. I'm just using the dark pumpkin pie now to add a little... Um, shading to my hat and I'm going quickly because I I hate for you to have to watch me just color <laughs> and I'm not doing I'm kind of going out of the lines which um, I think it's okay we're gonna punch this hat out but I'll show you how to fix that if you do go out of the lines with your alcohol markers You want to take, uh, make sure you order one of these, a color lifter, and it'll take the, um, I daub it, I don't color over it, you see how I'm daubing it? It's kind of a liquid, and it will pull the color right out if you do go, um, I've just found if I color on it, it kind of smears it. So I prefer just to kind of see how I'm just daubing it. I really got crazy. I enjoy coloring, but when I'm coloring for y'all, I like to go a little quicker so you don't have to sit here <laughs> and watch me do it. 
You can also use it to kind of lighten up an area, like if you wanted to take some color out and make her brim have a little, I don't know if you can notice if the camera's picking that up, but see where I colored over that and made it look a little lighter. So that's really nice to use for that. I think that's all the pumpkin pie. And then I'm going to take the dark granny apple green for her stockings. And so the, the light mango melody for her buckles on her boots. And that little tip is a little, that's the dark. I want to use the light. There we go. And I don't have to do anything to the spider. <laughs> So we're going to use the punch that comes in the bundle with the bewitching bundle. It doesn't come with it. You, you can order it as a bundle and save 10%. Or you can order each separately. Um, if you're not interested in the punch, you can just order the stamp set. Oh, Kat doesn't mind me coloring. I just like to use those light and dark colors to kind of add a little, um, what do you call it, depth to it. See how it looks like a little shadow over here? Okay, then we're going to fussy cut her little boots out, which I already did before y'all got here because that took me a minute. These little curly toes are a bear. <laughs> But they were easy enough. You just have to take your time. And then for the little spider, I just made a little strip here by his web. He's kind of a heart shape. So he's real quick to cut out, and there we go. Now, um, for the little um, cauldrons, we're going to put the little boots in first. I made it look like she fell in to her little pot of um, goo, <laughs> and I'm going to show you how I did that. It's completely optional, but I thought it looked kind of cute, and you can still put your candy in. I'll show you how. So what I did was I lost my bag of treats. Oh, it fell on the floor. Excuse me. I took a piece of window sheet that is half inch. And this one measures four by a half. And then at one inch, I scored the window sheet. And I'm going to push it back like that. We're just making a little leg. I made something doing this before, but I can't remember. Oh, my Merry Christmas um, thing. <laughs> we did this. I put the little Have a Sweet Christmas on some window sheets. So I'll put the, um, the link to this project down below too. And that that'll be an extra little instructions on how to do this, but it's so simple. I am going to use some, um, mini glue dots. You could pro you could probably do a, um, hot glue gun if you were real worried, but I think, I think that's pretty good. <laughs> So I, I'm not going to worry about it. Like I said, once I give these to the grandkids, who knows what it will look like when it's done. <laughs> so I just put several mini glue dots under there. And I wanted my um, 
her little feet to be in front of the handle. So that's why I pushed it back and put the, the glue dots on that side. Determine my placement. I don't want it right up front, but I do want it so that handle doesn't get in the way. And it just sticks to the bottom very easily. Now's the time you're going to want to put your candy in. I found these at um, Target. I thought they were the cutest little things. They're little milk chocolate kisses, but they've got um, monster faces. <laughs> so I thought that would be cute to throw in here. They're purple, blue, and green. I wish they were purple, orange, and green. But I just put a few in the front and a few in the back of her feet. Or this little, um, what do you call it? Um, window sheet strip. It holds quite a bit. And we're going to put some um, stuffy on top to look like, you know, it's all bubbling over. So that's probably good enough. Uh, now we can adhere her feet to the, um, actually I want to put the stuffy in first. This is hard to do when I'm doing it this way, but let's do that maybe. Um, I just took strips of basic black, pumpkin pie, and um, gorgeous grape. Now this I crimped. I wanted to see what it would look like. This I did not crimp, and I think I'm going to like this better. I have a crimper tool, and I just wanted to try it. <laughs> I think once I wad this all up, it's not going to matter anyway that I crimped it. I just wanted to see. I was curious. So I'm just going to kind of stick that in there on top of the candies. You don't need a whole lot. And take my mini glue dots. Here, I was going to do it this way so you all can see a little bit better. What if I put that? Now we're not very balanced. I'm going to put the mini glue dots on the back because we're going to Adhere it to that strip of um, window sheet. And one would probably be good, but I went ahead and did two. Have you all been enthralled with all of this royal family and um, the queen and all of this pomp and circumstance and everything. I am just so worried about Harry and William. <laughs> I was so happy to see them together. Was it Saturday or yesterday that they went to, to um, see the well-wishers? I'm just so worried about those two. I want them to get over there, whatever. And I probably should keep my mouth closed from, from this point on. I have my own opinions, but I'll keep my mouth closed. Okay, now we're going to embellish our little witch's hat with the punch. Whoops. So for that, I have a scrap of crushed curry. I'm going to um, punch out three of these stars. These always go flying everywhere. And the little hat band. Whoops. See what I mean? They just go flying. Now I'm going to distress the little hat band a little bit with um, our basic black. I don't know if it's called basic black. Yeah, it is. The dark. Um, Stampin' Write marker, and I'm just going to, I could probably sponge it, but I'm just going to, I want to, um, what do you call it, make it more pronounced. So I just kind of ran the marker around the edge. 
I thought it, it just needed a little bit of distressing or something. I don't know. So we'll put that on there. And then the stars, I'm going to grab my, this seems to help me because they're so small and my fingers are so big. Put these stars on her hat. There we go. Okay, so the only thing left to do is to add our hat and our spider to the front of our cauldron. <laughs> These are so cute. Um, So my little spider is going to be kind of hanging from the end of her hat, like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and use the mini glue dots again. I don't know where the other ring, oh here they are. And I'll probably put several on here. I think I'm going to put it on the, I don't know what I should do. I can't remember how I did it. I think if I put it right here where the rim of her hat is, it'll be perfect. I saw a card, um, somewhere online this weekend that someone had made another demonstrator and I wish I would have saved it. Um, it was so cute. Um, she used the hat on our gnomes bundle and had little Halloween gnomes and they were just adorable. I really keep talking myself out of that gnome set but then I see something and I love it. Um, Vicki says Super cute. We don't get trick-or-treaters and I don't send Halloween cards. So don't make many much as I love Halloween. I get it, Vicki. I do. I have grandkids, so um, these came four in a pack. And I have a baby, a seven-week-old, who doesn't need any candy. So the four older ones will get um, a little cauldron this Halloween. Um, I think even the... Um, my adult kids would like it. I think it would be cute. Um, I think it would be cute to give as a teacher gift, maybe um, a, with a card and a coffee um, gift card or a coworker on Halloween to just set on their desk. I, I think they would be super cute. I just um, really like them. Um, Vicky's grandkids are in their 20s and live out of state. Yes, I am lucky to have mine close by. I know, I know. I have lots of friends whose grandkids, when I complain that my one set lives five hours away, they say, well, at least you don't have to get on a plane to go see them. <laughs> so I know, I know, I am very lucky. Uh, Mary, thank you so much. Thanks for joining. Um, thanks for joining me today. Um, did I put the shoes on right? Yeah, I did. No, I didn't. You guys, that's why it looks weird. She's got her legs crossed on this one. <laughs> I guess she could have her knees crossed in the, the, uh, See how this one, she's just got her legs sticking up like she fell in. This one, she's got her knees crossed. In her, um, they're, they're opposite. They're pointing in. I think they'd be cuter pointing out. So when I get off today, I'm going to change these around. 
um, because they take up more room if I have them pointing the other way. That's funny. Um, thank you guys for joining me. I will be back Wednesday at 2 p.m. I've just decided I've tried the morning thing, and unless it's a special occasion, I am just going to keep it at 2 p.m. Coffee and a card. We'll be making a card. Um, also, if you're not on my mailing list, which you can sign up um, at theplaidpoodle.com, there's a little spot that says, I want more crafting ideas. I believe, and you just put your name and your um, email address, and every Tuesday I send out a tutorial, and it's, it's usually a card tutorial. So tomorrow is free um, Tuesday tutorial, so if you are on my list, you will be getting that email. So if you would like that, um, go ahead and um, head on over to theplaidpoodle.com and uh, make sure you're on that list. Um, and that's it. Thank you guys for joining me. Have a great afternoon, and we will see you Wednesday. Happy stamping. <laughs>